Welcome back. Temperatures are a little bit below normal for this time of year in the 30s and the low 40s right now. 34 at Turtle Lake, 37 right now in Harvey and Garrison, 39 in Botno and Rugby, as well as over in Stanley, and 40 degrees right now in Mina, but even a little chillier towards the south, central, and southeastern parts of the state where there's been more clouds today and those snow showers this morning. 36 right now in Bismarck, only 34 degrees in Jamestown. We could use some rain around here, especially here in Minot, as well as over towards Dickinson. This will be the, uh, we wrapped up October, I should say, as the seventh driest on record. We only had two hundredths of an inch of precipitation. And again, seventh driest. We got to go back more than 30 years to have an October that was drier than this past one, 1987. And all these other years only had a trace of precipitation in October. Now that we turn the calendar to November, we do have a chance of seeing some rain showers by Sunday, especially in our eastern counties. So the weak system that impacted south central and southeastern North Dakota today with some of those snow showers is pushing east. We'll have some fog likely developing tomorrow morning. Patchy, dense fog, so take it easy on the roads tomorrow morning with temperatures in the 20s. We'll have that fog lift by the midday hours and a lot of sunshine for our Saturday afternoon with a breeze coming in out of the southeast, gust upwards of 25 miles per hour increasing clouds by Saturday night and then for Sunday it'll be cloudy all day we'll start off in the 30s and have high temperatures in the 40s and 50s but we'll watch for these showers coming up from the southeast the storm systems coming from uh, South Dakota into our region but really missing us to the southeast with the bulk of the moisture there could even be an isolated thunderstorm in the southeastern part of the state on Sunday afternoon but here's an 11 o'clock snapshot a lot of these showers continuing Sunday night in the James and Red River valleys whereas we'll be drying out and areas in western North Dakota will stay completely dry from the system with the main storm track coming up towards the Great Lakes you can see the Big gradient or the big cutoff in rainfall amounts from none along Highway 85 to about a tenth along Highway 83. And then in the Red River Valley, between a half an inch and one inch of rain anticipated from the system. So about a quarter, uh, sorry, about a tenth of an inch is expected in the Minot area for Sunday and into Monday. As we go over towards Rugby and Harvey, could see upwards of a quarter of an inch of precipitation. So we'll have the fog in place for tomorrow morning with those temperatures in the 20s. A lot of sunshine for tomorrow afternoon with that stronger southeast wind. And then the clouds for Sunday, you'll see those isolated showers at times Sunday afternoon. The bulk of the rain impacting southeastern parts of our viewing area and more so down towards southeastern North Dakota. So you can really see that fog expanding in coverage for tomorrow morning. We will have some sunshine by Saturday afternoon. The clouds in place for Sunday with the rain chances in the east. Then breezy conditions for the beginning part of next week, but dry for Election Day next Tuesday. Mostly mild temperatures here in the 50s on the seven-day forecast.